pronouns. Uh, pronouns again, sorry. He, him. All right, cool. Cla- the classic he, hims. All right. Sounds old, like good old fashioned he, him. Working. All right. Sounds like it's working just fine. Okay. It is working just fine. You sound much better this time than usual. That's that's impressive and great. I'm happy. Well, I'm 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 happy for that. I should yeah, I should sound just like last time since I'm using the exact same mic. But oh, um. you sound a lot better than last time. All right. So um, hit me with your insufferable vegan take that's not going to advance the conversation at all. Um. Well, you're are you a utilitarian? I think you are, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, general. I usually consider myself somewhere in that ballpark. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ceasing consuming meat uh, decreases the general amount of suffering in the world, which is uh, good for utilitarianism. Hmm? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? Spoo-ba-da-spoo. Decreasing the, consum- the general consumption of meat to any particular degree decreases the amount of suffering that occurs mm-hmm. in the world, which is yeah. good for utilitarianism. Hell yeah. That's a good thing I'm already decreasing the, the amount of meat. And your stupid ass dumb shit comment in chat only made you look like an annoying insufferable prick, just like every other vegan who does that shit. Yeah, but you can decrease it more by just not by just not by just not eating my dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. Yep. But just, well, it's by just not eating meat in general. Yeah, true. And guess what? You could also decrease a lot of suffering in the world right now by walking out into the woods and living in a tree and selling yeah. your house to a poor person. And there you go. Problem solved. Well, I don't. Have, I, I don't. I'm not a homeowner, but oh well. All way, right then. You, um, would be, you would be giving that to somebody else who needs it, and the world and the suffering would in, would decrease in the world. So get out in the woods. Get off this phone call. Why the fuck are you on here talking to me? Go get go get to work. It's a lot of really awesome whataboutism. Is that um, a whataboutism? It absolutely is. Saying oh, but there's other harm that you are that you are doing as well. Well, sure, but I'm doing less than you, so. Mm, no, actually, you're. I, I highly doubt that. I bet you're doing more than me right now. Considering that I don't drive and the only luxury good I have oh, is damn, a damn. You are I so. Mean, oh my god. Do you want to jerk yourself off a little harder on the air? Like, I mean, you you're the one who tried to make this mm, a competition so as to who's doing the least amount of harm. Oh, I mean, oh, I so much good <laughs> you stuff. Got, oh, I'm it, such you a. You don't get to, you don't get to start this so by being like, actually, my I do less harm than so you, high. and then you start. I'm on the highest horse in the world. Oh, I'm gonna come from how moral I am. You sound like every other annoying ass vegan that has ever talked to me, all of whom do absolutely nothing to actually solve the problems of systemic meat eating. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Your stupid arguments do jack shit to make progress towards overcoming systemic meat eating. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, in what in what way can you possibly make that claim? Because you want to know what's a really easy thing to do? A really easy mm-hmm. thing to do is to walk outside and point out everything that's bad in the world. You can point at mm-hmm. somebody who has a dirty car, an old car. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're driving a car that's like a couple years old and isn't green. And you're, you could point at them and go, ha, 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 I am more green than you because you're driving a car that's older. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, you, you could point at somebody ha- who has a Mac computer and you go, oh, that was built with slave labor. Ha <laughs> ha, you're, you're bad. It, it's very easy to point out things that you're doing are bad. For example, like right now, I could literally point out that you're talking to me on your computer, which is was inevitably created with slave labor, probably mm-hmm. murder, depending mm-hmm. on which country the, the p- pieces were sourced from. Um, you're mm-hmm. probably drinking an uneth- unethically sourced drink right now. You're probably nah, wearing. It's homemade. You're probably, it's homemade. Did you? Sorry, did you grow your own tea or whatever it is that you got there? You yeah. picked your own. Is it coffee? Or are you drinking coffee or tea? Tea. Okay, and you grew your own tea. Yeah. Damn, that's awesome. Okay, good. Good on you. What are you wearing for clothes right now? If you don't mind me asking, not like in a weird way, just like uh, the Walmart clothes. Are they? Did you hand sew them? Um, no, nah, I've had these for like. 10 years or so damn I, where'd you buy them from i, I generally I, I generally don't buy my clothes usually oh, i get them recycled so you sewed that um, one yourself you sewed those clothes yourself? no I, I get them from like salvation army things oh, like that. oh sh- wait a minute are you fucking serious you give money to yeah. salvation army you know salvation army is a homophobic company like hardcore homophobic right yeah and you give money to them um sure are you for real right now and you're gonna come preach to me it's recycled stuff. Jesus Christ. I can't believe that you would give money to a company that actually, like, unironically, I'm not even kidding. Like, they're actually one of the worst charities you could possibly give money to. Sure. 
Okay. Thrift stores are generally better, but I don't have anybody anybody in my area. Damn, but you could just drive further. Like, just drive to a Goodwill. Those are actually good. I can't good. drive because I, I don't believe, drive. Like, you're so lazy. Like, what the fuck? I can't fuck? drive because I don't of, drive. What sort, what, do you want moral, do? what sort of moral convictions do you have that you wouldn't hike to the nearest Goodwill and carry your clothes back in a hand-sewn burlap sack that you um, that you made with, um, like, I actually don't know what burlap is made out of, but whatever. Is, is what's what's up? What's up with that? Why are you I, I, I'm, that? I'm just confused as to what point you think you're making. No, I mean, I'm just pointing out it's super, super easy to say this thing is bad and then sure. ha and then leave it at that. And that's literally what you do when you say, hey, burger is bad. Well, to be fair, I mean, that's the majority of what you do when you respond to people on YouTube saying bad things. You uh, just no, say, oh, that's actually not what I do. Wait, wait. Do you think that me like <laughs> making fun of somebody for being a racist, for being like an abject racist who's like actively producing content that is forwarding racism in the world you think that's equivalent you think that's uh, the same yeah. thing as you pointing being, out like hey burger look how bad, bad. This you, it, you think that's equivalent from you like literally <laughs> okay. sliding your way into oh. chat and screaming burger bad from chat which is li almost literally what you did do you think hey, that's do you think little, that's the same do, thing doing a little bit of ribbon on people for doing something that i don't think is good is oh. uh healthy yeah so there you go. Good job. There's nothing unhealthy about doing a little yeah, bit of so, ribbon but, on but somebody. You don't really have. You don't really have. You don't really have much to. You, you know. You don't really have much to stand on when the equivalent. When you're like the the peak of your advocacy today has been to stumble into chat and say burger bad, which mostly pisses off a lot of people and and cements them in the idea that that vegans are intolerable assholes who can't who can't who literally don't understand anything about the world and only give a shit about being on a moral high horse, which is pretty much what you've done this entire time. And that basically, right. so basically is you have no problem with anything that I've actually said. You just don't like. No, actually, this. I have a lot of problems with what you said. I, I Can literally an actual I, I, substantive problem. Yeah, actually, so here, here's my substantive been... argument. You want to hear my substantive argument? Vegans like yourself, vegans who have an oh, yeah. approach like like you, they you you are so bad at advocating for veganism that you actually do more harm to the world. Like, I actually 100% unironically believe that. I believe okay. that vegans who just walk into chats and say things like burger bad actually make people so anti, they make people so anti-vegan that people stop caring because it's like, it's the equivalent of being a preacher that walks up and goes, you are a sinner, you are a sinner. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, it's not effective. It actually just pisses people off and makes them wanna go away. I'm serious, it does not work. Okay. And there well, are a hundred different do, better so. ways. That is what you, that is, I'm sorry. That is literally what you did. You walked in I, here. I you teased, said I burger you bad. About, you, I teased you a little bit about eating a burger. No. Oh, wow. no, oh, oh now, now you're going to try and reframe it as teasing. You walked in. I was eating my dinner peacefully, minding my own business, doing my thing. You walked in and you went burger and equal murder. Do you think that that's a normal thing? That people like like and appreciate is that like a way that you communicate no, with people? Isn't okay. Normal, no. Yeah. Well, uh, I wonder why it's not normal. It's because of people like you. I'm oh sorry no! To, it's not I'm normal. Sorry. It is, it is, because we have no. It is. Uh, it know, is. It is in part because of people like you. It is okay, in well, part. You can't. You can't prove or demonstrate that, so I'm just going to go ahead oh, and disregard I, it. Wait, no, I listen, the only can. reason why it's normal, the only reason why okay. it's normal is because we live in a world in which it is no, normal because... to eat meat and that we haven't actually done anything towards transitioning away from that in any particular degree. Most mm -hmm. people think they have to eat meat to any particular degree. Nice. Most people think the meat is like an, an integral part of their existence. You know, there's a the whole like bacon so awesome, even though it's kind of like lame, even yeah. when I did eat meat. Yeah. Do like you want to know what that ago? is the equivalent yeah. to, though? Like people who do, wow, I love bacon. That is you. You are the vegan version of that. You are literally okay. the vegan version of that. I'm not kidding I, you. See, and and, and so it, 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 wait a second, fun. hold on a second. Wait a second, hold on a second. If you took one second to pull your head out of your ass for uh, five seconds and just uh, ask people what they think about when you walk up to them and say, burger bad, if it, I would love to know like how effective that is because I can promise um, you no one has ever been convinced with that rhetoric, ever. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not trying not to convince person. somebody with that rhetoric. Then my, exactly. My, they, Bam! Yeah. Thank you for copying right to it. You don't actually give a shit about veganism. You just give a shit okay. about oh, you just give a shit that about was, about that being. That was an incredible You just pivot. give a shit, shit. You just give a shit about <laughs> being on your high horse. You give a shit about preaching and making sure that everybody in the room knows that you're the most veganist around. And I can't stand people like that. I fucking can't stand yeah. that, and nobody else can either. It drives everyone fucking nuts.
And that's why vegans have the reputation for being the type of person who you're on a day of work, you're eating your sandwich, and a vegan comes up and goes, wow, nice murder. Ha 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 ha. And that's the reputation that vegans have all over the internet. Oh, and if I'm you think I'm wrong, sorry, if you think I'm wrong, take a time, <laughs> wait until we're not arguing about well, veganism, so come around my chat, come around any chat. I don't care. Pick a chat on the internet that's not literally devoted to veganism and ask them what they think about vegans, what their first impression of vegans are. Because I can tell you it's that. And I know this because I give a shit, I do give a shit about veganism and I hate fucking dealing with vegans like you. Okay. Um, anyway, so just a little bit of teasing in the chat and then you said you want me to come dude, on it's and not, actually it's like not fucking veganism. Dude, it's not fucking teasing. It's annoying I gave you a shit. very No, 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 hold on a second. You... It's not fucking teasing. Oh, when when okay. I get, wait, listen. You want to know what happened? I get food from my partner because I'm working. I get a, a, a sandwich. My partner brings me a sandwich. And two separate people in chat go, wow, I really hate that you're eating a murder sandwich. Nice murder sandwich there. That's not teasing. That's fucking annoying. So if that's teasing, just fuck off. Okay. Uh, and there you go. Well, successful. You've you successfully a, veganed. A you did it, Big Lundy. You veganed. Why the world is a better such... place. Gosh, you're so angry. And so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am angry at this shit. It's annoying. Vegans do this all the time. In fact, every time I've, like, I've talked about veganism on my channel, specifically as a topic, because it annoys me so much that this is what happens every time. And vegans come in and they go, no, not every vegan is as much of a smug fuck as I am. But guess what? They are. A again and again and again. This is what vegans do. And nobody gives a fucking shit about vegans because of this type of rhetoric. So yeah. Okay. So you haven't made any actual substantive points. Um, yes, I, I asked for substantive arguments. You I didn't critiqued. Give any. No, I, I mean, critiqued the it, approach of vegans all, being here, stupid here's what idiots here's who what are bad done. at it. Here, here, here's what you've done. Your teasing offends me, and um, while I agree with your argument, no, no, I can make that argument listening. towards anything. You, you, Big Lundy, I'm going to stop you right there. You're not listening. I didn't okay. say that it just annoys me. I think that it annoys not only me, but everyone. It is rhetoric that is designed to show how well, how holier than thou you are than everyone else and not actually accomp uh, and not actually accomplish what you want to do. If um, you gave a fucking shit about veganism, you'd shut the fuck up about stupid burger comments and you would actually do something that helps veganism. Like? Like? I don't know a million other things that don't involve <laughs> walking into somebody's house. Right, Let me yeah, give you an example. You, you want me to want me to tell you? I actually have an actual plan, something that I plan on doing someday if I ever make a lot of money. Want to know what I would do? You want to hear it? What? Because well, I'm gonna. What I, I, I guess. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. If 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 I were you, what I would do is I would smugly walk in every place wearing a big sticker that says "I'm a good boy vegan, mommy pet me," and then. But if I was a, care person who cared about veganism then what i would do is i would do this which is if i ever make a lot of money now let's be real there's a lot of billionaire vegans right okay well in i fact, don't have an all of money so uh, uh, you at, you wanted my idea i'm gonna give it to you okay well i'm asking what you want me to do i don't oh, have i want you to just so to what? just shut up and stop talking oh. about veganism because oh, okay. you don't have a clue about all veganism right. i got it so there is absolutely no way to actually advocate for veganism at all oh actually all right. there totally is a way to advocate for veganism right. i do it all the time hit, on my hit, channel hit me with it hit yeah. me with it super easy what's Ready? the good way to what's the good way, way to advocate you want, for it yeah i know you're like you're you're really nervous now because you've realized that i've like your your fucking game's up like that stupid shit doesn't fly in front around me i know what i'm talking about i know when somebody's being a fucking high horsing asshole Okay, so here we go. You want to know what you do? Here's how you actually you want to actually know how to accomplish veganism in America. Watch this. Mm -hmm. You wrap up a bunch of these fucking poser ass billionaire vegans that are all over the place. You wrangle them up and you say, hey, guys, let's put a fund together. And here's what we're going to do with this fund. We are going to fund research. We're going to fund our own research. And here's what we're going to find out. We are going to find out the most popular meals in every region of America, in every working class household in America. Okay. Then we're going to take all of that research. We're going to create a cookbook that perfectly and most as accurately as possible. We're going to hire vegan chefs and we're going to create the cheapest veganist friendly or vegetarian friendly. You don't even have to go full vegan for this to work and it would do a huge, it would do wonders. And we're going to create a cookbook that has everybody, every favorite food of every American family to the best of our ability and teaches you how to make it cheaper. And in, in the book, it would tell, it would say, this is how much cheaper it'll be approximately. This is the ingredients that you need to buy. And this is how healthy it is. Then this cookbook would be put together. You make the cookbook and then you give it away for free. 
You give it away to as many people as possible. You give it, you give it out. You have people stand out in front of, of grocery stores and you give them the cookbook. You make videos about it talking about, hey, this is a free cookbook that will teach you how to make delicious homemade American classics in vegan style without with vegetables. You never have to use a meat product again. It's healthier for you and you, and guess what? You won't hurt any animals. You can feel good about eating it. You never shame a single person. You just give them the thing for free. You give them the tool to become a better vegan and you show them how positive it can be to become a vegan, how they can feel better about their food. And this would be achievable with a couple a couple thousand dollars realistically, but it would probably be achievable with if you had a millionaire or a billionaire who signed on this, a vegan who spends most of their life going to extremely expensive restaurants and or ordering vegan space tofu so that they can and feel how holy they are and they can post it on Instagram and talk about oh my god I'm so vegan everybody look at all the disgusting proles out there eating their government subsidized meat and then guess what BAM you have an America that's actually meaningfully vegan instead of a bunch of fucking stupid asshole posers sitting around talking about oh your burger is murder you'd actually make mo act meaningful progress against the meat industry bam i just gave you an idea that all of the vegans in the fucking world rubbing their stupid brain cells together couldn't come up with because all they care about is shoving their head up their ass and convincing everyone that they're the best vegan in the world Okay, so that was an incredibly implausible, impossible scenario. That you are, you, are you for real? The idea of getting right a bunch now. Of, let's, you let's are... get a bunch of billionaire vegans together and have them give away a cookbook for free. Yes, yes that, they do this uh, all the time. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, what are you so, talking so you about? actually, so Big Lundy, I have respected you until like a lot until this conversation. There are a variety of vegan cookbooks out there that are perfectly good for budgets. You can get them for like ten dollars. It, it's not yes, it's not and difficult. guess what? Do you want to know what a common thread in America? Wait, are you a leftist or no? Let me quick yes. question. You're a leftist. You call yourself a socialist, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want? Do you want to know what categorizes? This is why the, I know this is impossible. Hold on. Hold on. No ready? Ready? Wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't get too. Don't get too worked up there. I know you want a black pill out. But see here, I believe in actually changing the world un instead of just like resigning myself to smug um, posturing, okay? So let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about this. First of all, we already know that Ben & Jerry's is a company that is run by two vegan billionaires. As far as I know, they're vegans or at least they're, they're vegetarians at the very least. And uh, there's a corporation, you gotta convince them. Go pitch it to them. They give a ton of money to charity. There are tons of celebrity vegans, billionaires, who would give money to charity. So that's uh, just just full of shit. And secondly, uh, I don't even remember what the second thing was. What was your point again? Oh, uh, the fact that you're not gonna be able to get billionaires. To oh, just, right, right, just sorry, I forgot. The part about uh, you being a leftist. Free, you, you, everybody. So, so can you tell me something that characterizes the working class? Um like what do you mean that's incredibly what, what's broad something question. That, like if you were a marxist and you were using your marxy brain to like figure out something what would you say is like a problem that the working class deals with like maybe uh, the biggest one overworked. okay but what else what else what else besides just being what are you overworked? looking for what are you looking for no i'm, I'm there's asking a bajillion you. I want answers you to think real give hard you. there's a there's one answer that's really good okay ready no there's a it's bajillion answers it's to this poverty. what are you looking for poverty. yeah okay it's the thing that yeah. we care about as leftists it's like the one yeah, of the main as things somebody in poverty about. yeah i would understand yeah, okay that. sure yeah right so do you want to know what a lot of people um what a lot of people can't do or don't think to do or don't want to do because it's an it's an expense buy more stupid shit buy more stupid overpriced frivolous products things that they'll never use that is the problem and this is the thing you want to know you want to know you want to know the reason behind why my show's free it's because i know some um, people can't afford it even if it's good even if it's good even if it is if it would be good for them so i give it away for free because yeah. that means there's no fucking you also make wall. money off of it yeah i do that's great but I, my show but my show is free <laughs> <laughs> but My you have, but you can only do it for free. But you can only do it as much as you do and for as free as you can because you still make money off yeah, it. Yeah, and guess who doesn't need to do that? Will billionaires, donate. millionaires, and there are many millionaires. Yeah, and guess what? Wait, they're wait. not going to do no, that because they're capitalists. Are... Okay, so you literally are just doomer pilled. So you don't actually. So what you're what you're doing you're is wait, wait, listen, pilled. listen. You are seeding, the, you are seeding the argument to me. You're seeding no, the argument not. by saying you're I, saying I'm that. Saying wait, that wait, your listen, listen, listen. Scenario is silly. You're saying that the billionaire and millionaire vegans, of which there are many, they are literally famous. There are famous vegan Instagrammers, that they yeah. are so calloused and stupid that they don't want to fix the problem with, with meat eating in this country. They only care about their own personal, moral, consumptive choices. That's yeah. what you're telling me. Yeah. 
Okay, Th then you have just made my argument. Thank you. You have literally seeded the argument. You have literally what seated I... the entire argument. The entire thing that oh. I was pointing out is that vegans are ineffectual, <laughs> annoying assholes who don't actually care about con about accomplishing veganism. You literally just seated yeah, the point. Yeah, a lot of them are. I never disagreed with that. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't put myself in that, that particular easy. group, but whatever. Oh, I would totally put you in that particular group. You literally walk oh, into why? chat and say, Mer, burger bad. And then you come on and you're just like, <laughs> and you smuckle around while having no solutions and just and just spitting out boring doomer bullshit about how nobody's ever going to do it. So why even try? No, no, no. Hold on. Wait. That's literally what you just Hold said. On. You said your idea would we, never work because there are millionaires. Can we take a breath? Can we take, well. Well, I was, yes, see, here's the funny thing. I would love to breath. take a breath. I would love to eat my sandwich. But, you know, some stupid asshole fucking annoying piece of shit walked on You're here the and one said who stupid asked shit. asked me to come on here. Yeah, I asked you to come on <laughs> after you said stupid here, shit then... in my chat because you annoyed me. Well, okay. And now I'm showing complain, you how the But you the... can't complain that I'm taking away time from your from your dinner because I mean, you asked no, me to come No, your comment on. took time away from my dinner. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. So, there are a lot of ways in which we can push veganism public advocacy. I think it's one Oh yeah, you, do you think do. that going into people's Twitch chats and saying burger bad is actually like a good way of doing that? No, that's okay, not good. that was Thank my you. intent. You've seeded part two. Well, no, because that wasn't my I'm intent. Just, just for you're the record, acting, for the like audience. My intent in coming in here and saying, hey, it looks like you're enjoying some delicious murder was like intending on converting you. It's not the point. <laughs> so you were just being an ass. Wait, so you were just being a smug asshole, right? I really don't think Acknowledge I'm it. Being just admit, a you, 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 admit it. You were being a smug asshole is what you were doing. <sighs> oh, no, no, I'm not going to say that because I say you it's all my friends. Being, you, so care. you weren't coming in here to convince anybody. You were just coming in to be a smug asshole. I was hanging, so when I I said, was hanging out. When this I is asked, how I talk to my. This is how I talk to my friends. None of them care. I don't know why. Well, you I'm not your friend, buddy. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> well, either I'm way, not your friend. you're some random. I, you're I'm, random I'm terribly sorry I offended you. That's you didn't offend me. You just annoyed intent. me. I'm not offended. I'm just annoyed. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You did offend me. Do you want to know what you yeah. how you offended me? You offended me uh, by pretending sure. to be a high horse vegan who actually doesn't act, who just has revealed in this conversation that you don't give a fuck about veganism. And that annoys me. That does annoy me. Okay. Well, I do give a fuck about veganism. There oh, are damn, a wide variety of You should give more of a fuck and you should do it smarter. Yes. Do you want me to actually say anything or what? No, I mean, you've already seated on both the points that I care about. And all that you're going to do from here is is basically posture and try to try to like lick your wounds and 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 avoid acknowledging that you were just being an asshole and instead of just saying sorry i was being an asshole i should try i should stop being such a smug vegan asshole and try to actually do things more effective and let you eat your food and not be such a dick now if you did that this would be over and we could have a nice conversation but other than that you're just you're okay. just avoiding admitting that you're a smug sorry asshole. that i was an asshole by saying that your burger was mm -mm. murder smug vegan asshole let's get it right <laughs> Come on. Terribly Hurry sorry up. I'm being a smug vegan asshole by saying that your burger was murder. All right. We're at um, peace now. We're at peace, Big right. Bundy. <laughs> I forgive you. All right. Thank you. Anyway, there's a wide variety of ways in which veganism can be advocated for uh, and pushed for that don't involve trying to get all the billionaires together because if we could get the billionaires together to agree on anything and push forward for any sort of progressive change, that would be amazing. But that's just not the way the world works. But I think the public advocacy is one way in which we can do so. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, the health benefits is one thing. I think a lot of people are more convinced by health benefits than moral reasons because it's hard to in, like tell people that it's morally bad to do a thing that they were raped that they rate they were kind of raised. Yeah, doing. I agree. Um, but you know that's but that's fundamental to any sort of advocacy for progressivism because when you're a leftist, for instance. You're saying that the moral way in which we should run our society is through a leftist lens. Um, and doing that to anybody who is not a leftist or was not raised leftist is essentially telling them that the way in which they want society to be, at the least currently, is wrong. Yeah, you know wrong. what you do? You make good arguments for that. You don't walk in and go, oh, yeah, um, but I thought Vuvuzela. But how do you make good arguments that are not about saying that the current mode of production is morally wrong okay so are you asking you me to teach you that because i can like because well, no, i mean you, you just demonstrated you, you don't know you how can't, to do it you can't no you can't do that you, you, you actually you can't you can't argue do. in favor of leftism without appealing to morality you can't do it um Wait, just letting actually, you know it's impossible you people actually, have tried but it's you, impossible you actually 
can. The moment that you say this is what we should do, and also you're that's not wrong. the same as burger bad. I think that you can make moral arguments for veganism that don't come across like a, a smug. A well, South, yeah, I did South that Park the first parody. thing. That was the first thing I did when I came in. Here. Not really. The first thing you did in was immediately try to roll back what you said in chat because you were because you got called. Well, out no, no. Smug the first thing asshole. that happened is you you brought me on and you mm -hmm. said you don't have a, you don't have any good arguments for veganism. I gave you an argument for veganism and you said yeah and then moved on from that. So that's basically. Mm, what I don't know. Is that what happened? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what happened. I hey, said you you're called me a murderer, brain, didn't right? you? Didn't you call me a murderer? Isn't that what you did? Uh, in the chat, I guess. Not yeah, when okay. I got in here. Damn, good arguments, bro. I hope you. I hope. I hope you've convinced like lots of people to be vegan today. I'm terribly sorry, but you. In agreed fact, with unfortunately, my the sad the sad thing is, is that me screaming at a vegan has probably convinced more people to be a vegan. And my idea has probably convinced people. Do you want to know what I do to, to adv advocate for quote unquote veganism? Actually, the tr here's the secret. I, I lied. I don't actually give a shit about veganism. I don't care about veganism. What I do care about is reducing animal suffering. And the way that you do that is by encouraging people to, at, to reduce meat by whatever method they can. Because without, without fucking trying to get into the nitty gritty and be like, well, I bet that you could do this or I bet that you could do that. Instead you say, hey, look, it's good. It's a good thing to not eat meat when you can avoid it. But I understand that meat is common. Meat is is constantly eaten in our society. Sometimes you can't get a vegan food. All I care about is reducing your meat and animal cruelty consumption. And that's okay, one so of the best ways to do it. And then you teach people how to do that, which single one of my friends. So what's that? Um, that's literally the exact same argument. No, that's today. not true. You just said five seconds ago that to your friends, you tell them that their burger is murder. So which well, one yeah, because it? they're not there because nobody actually becomes vegan by saying, hey, avoid meat when you can. But I understand actually, that's not true. That's blah, how blah. I decided to become a vegan, by the way. I got no, so annoyed with other vegans that that I and I just was like, fuck this shit. In fact, I convinced, by the way, I convinced the per the most avid vegan in my life. I was the one who made the argument that made them right. consider being a vegan. And it wasn't by saying you need to get rid of all meat products. It was by saying, you know, we probably should reduce we probably should reduce our animal consumption because it's pretty horrible how we treat animals. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I say that to everybody, and it mostly no, doesn't really... Not, not today you didn't. Today you walked in and you were like, burger bad. Actually, I did say that as my first argument, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, the burger bad, again, it wasn't intended to be an argument. It wasn't intended to change your yeah, mind I, or anything. I, I, I'm I was sorry. just I'm having just a bit of fun in the chat. I don't no. know why was that's that such fun? a big Was it fun for you? And I already apologized for it as per your request. Yeah, I know, but you're going back You're going back around it. Instead of like making progress, you're going back to like trying to justify no, what you did. No, because of... I already apologized. I'm talking about the argument I, I had when I okay. first came into right. this call, not the chat. When you asked me in the call, mm -hmm. what's your argument? Mm -hmm. I gave you an argument about utilitarianism mm -hmm. and yeah. you agreed with it and then yeah. you moved on from it. Yeah, no, I agree with you that that um, reducing reducing meat consumption is great. Good news, I'm already doing that. Okay, good. Bam. I can still kind of tease you a little bit for not fully no. cutting it. No, life. you can't. Okay. I don't All want right. your teasing, you're not my friend. I don't All want right. your stupid, annoying teasing when I'm just trying to eat my goddamn dinner. Some people can take it, some people can't, I guess. No, I could take it from somebody that I, like, know, not just from some random smug vegan asshole in chat. <laughs> okay. Have um, you ever considered that, like, maybe I just wanted to eat my burger and chat with chat and not have two stupid motherfuckers shout at me about how my my burger is murder, which I already know. And God, I sure wish that McDonald's didn't exist as a n worldwide chain serving out thousands upon thousands of patties. Oh, oh, God forbid. I should have just not eaten. If only I hadn't, I would have collapsed the McDonald's empire. If only my girlfriend hadn't brought me this one burger. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, uh, this is just kind of how I hang out with people. I guess maybe I'm a bit too spicy on my vegan takes. Uh, uh, it's not really spicy. It's just obnoxious. Like, it's not uh, spicy. Spicy is funny. Like, uh, spicy I, is... I just, I, just don't, I, just don't, I just don't know what exactly the standard is. Like, if you, is, you, if you know, kicked in a door... Out. Okay, so, like, is this, is this, like, is this, I'm like... I'm not in a door. This is a public thing. This is not... Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you just, like, do you walk into, like, a, like a concert or something like that and then and then like type in like everyone here is a murderer for listening to murder music created with music with, with un unethically sourced guitars generally is that, what you not, do? No. is that your idea of like a fun night i i, I okay 
my idea was that I thought you would be able to handle it in a good natured way. Apparently, oh, I, am, I think I am handling it in a good natured way. I'm having fun right now. I, I mean, it's annoying, but I'm having fun. <laughs> no. Wait a minute, wait, you wait a second. Time. You're trying to play, are you trying to like play like cribally here? You walked in and said I was I was committing a I was committing a murder sandwich. <laughs> and then and then I I call back that you're a smug yeah. vegan asshole. You admit you're a smug vegan asshole, and now you're yeah. trying to save face. What are you uh, what, save you're face? You're doing it again what? as we're talking. You're like, save oh you, you can't what? take a joke. It's just a joke, bro, I, when you get blown the fuck I out. Know. I really don't understand where all of this is coming from. You're Wait, saying, you hey, I know, I know. Maybe I know because, some people because you're the maybe, type of person, maybe. you're the type of person who thinks that it's a real party funny joke that when you go when your family invites you to cookout, you walk in and you go, "I refuse to participate morally in this cookout because there were hot dogs cooked on the grill." And then your family members go, "Oh god, not again." And then you go, "What? Why is everybody so fragile?" Oh. And then everyone just goes, oh, I hate Nobody it when this happens. When I, I really hate Nobody it. Nobody cares when I say a joke about the murder sandwiches. Not well, normally. Well, I don't know about um, that. I, I guess you second. do, and that's Here, you here's do. Here's what you should you know do. What? I, I would love it. I would love it. You, so that's my bad. If you if you want to if you want to test whether that's true, honestly, if you actually want to believe that, I know you're not going to do this. You're going to immediately go back to being a smug vegan asshole immediately after this conversation. But, uh, and that's because I know a million smug vegan assholes that do the exact same thing. But if mm. you actually cared, next time, like, actually go and try and find out what people actually feel about it. Because I can tell you, I can tell I you 100% that every single person on the planet hates it when vegans do that shit. It is the most annoying thing on the fucking planet. Every well, I generally don't do it to strangers. Hates it. And the main reason I don't do it to strangers is because I don't know them. And I have no mm -hmm. idea as to what it is that they can take and what they can't. I've been mm -hmm. watching you for a little it bit. It has nothing to do with no, so no, no. See, look, 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 look wait, listen. It has nothing to do with what they take. What they can take. You're you're doing the it's a prank bro thing. Oh, I just kicked you in the back of your of your knee. Ha ha. You guess well, you can't it's take something it that your I, pussy. You're it's literally doing. I legitimately no, mean come to on, a dude. You're literally level. doing. You're literally doing the oh, it's just a prank. Why are you why are you bothered? Like, come on, dude. You're being you admitted on this on air in front of all in front of everybody who's watching that you're a smug vegan asshole so when somebody gets annoyed because you're being a smug vegan asshole, being a smug you can't vegan really be like oh right. sorry everybody couldn't handle my smug vegan asshole like no dude well, you were just being a smug there's nothing vegan wrong asshole. with being a smug vegan asshole wait so except there is something wrong with being a smug vegan asshole really being not. a smug vegan asshole is annoying and makes people not care about veganism because they don't like dealing with your annoying ass okay well there's a lot of ways in which I advocate for it. It doesn't really have that much of a problem. I made an argument in this that didn't that you completely agreed with. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it feels like a lot of this has just been a bunch of grandstanding like, on your part. Interesting. It's almost like uh, it's almost like if you had just made like a a convenient, topical, relevant argument at some point when we were talking about veganism, there wouldn't have been a problem. But instead, you bumbled in to, to me just trying to eat a sandwich and talk with my chat and shouted out, ooh, burger bad. And then it turns out that's a real poor way to make your argument. Uh, well, I wasn't trying, again, for the fifth time, saying, hey, I hope you're you it looks like you're enjoying some delicious murder is yeah. not meant to be an argument. Well, good thing it, good thing it sucks, and it actually does the opposite of what you intended to do. What what was the opposite thing that it did? Actually, you know what? You're right. I, I I just made a mistake there in my argument. It does do what you intended it to do, which is to to virtue signal so loudly to the chat. Like it's like it's like it's like that comic where it's like, look at how hard I what, look at how look at how hard I can piss, and then they piss really hard on the floor, and the other person's just like, what the fuck? That's what you just did. You walked into the room and you said, look at how cool I am. I am a vegan super soldier. Congratulations. Uh okay. Um, well, I don't know if there's anything further that you'd like to talk about on that front. I mean, nope. I'd like to talk about veganism, but I don't think that you want yeah, to. Yeah, I don't know. You soured um, the mood. Well, I think the mood was soured before. Well, I, I mean, I will here. go on. I will talk about veganism after this, but I will do it yeah, as okay. not the way that you do it. So. Well, I'm pretty sure no point that you make would be a point that I wouldn't. Um, well, damn, well, pretty sure anyway. Get man, I, I mean, guess the there's whole, no the whole, purpose the whole, to being hey, a smug vegan asshole. Reduce meat when you can. The the whole hey, reduce meat when you can. I understand sometimes you don't have the ability to because you live in a food desert or you don't have the money and things along those lines. Cool. I say that stuff cool. all the time. Nice. Well, too bad you didn't say it. Today. So damn, I don't know. Sucks. <clears throat> I mean, I did um, earlier. No, you didn't. But no, you didn't. I, you well, said that. You said that yeah. after I said that. You said that after I said that. So you effectively seated and have admitted that i am a i am like the, the the better advocate here 
you're literally taking well, my argument right now. I'm not really saying that you're the better advocate if I'm saying that nothing you said is something I haven't. Except you didn't say that. It would, you it opened would, up with well, burger. Not with, with today. Meat. Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> like, wait, what? Do you, do you expect every single person in this chat, all like know. 500 uh, people watching, including myself, to just, just psychically know how good of a vegan you are all the rest of the time? But today you walked in and you were a dumb no, shit. No, not at all. Oh I expect God. the chat to probably get a little spicy about oh, me saying Lundy, murder sandwich. Lundy, God. Oh my God. I expect this. I suspect the chat to be a little spicy over me saying murder sandwich. I mean, it's a spicy thing to say. <laughs> Yeah, I know you want to. Well, did you do you feel like you do you feel like do you feel like the do you feel like a big boy? Do you feel like a big a big good vegan boy right now? I'm I'm pretty relaxed, playing WoW, having a good time. All right. Well, uh, thanks for coming on. All right. Everybody have a good day. <laughs> Bye. By the way, there is 500 people watching right now. I used to be like Big Lundy, but about a year ago, I became more of a chill vegan. That when all my friends became way more plant-based, almost like smug vegan asshole thing doesn't work. From somebody who used to be like him, it's 100% virtue signaling. Yes, it is. I know it is. I've been.